Major pharmacies are now giving COVID-19 vaccines to children 5 to 11 years old. Thousands of Pfizer pediatric doses were administered this weekend. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live at a CBS pharmacy on University Boulevard. Marilyn, a lot of pharmacies didn't have any availability today. That's right, including this one behind me. I went on the website for this location and I even checked around a few other ones near the zip code with 32207. Majority of them completely booked. Now you may have some more help or additional um, availability throughout the rest of the week, but going into the weekend, that availability gets slimmer and slimmer. So if you want your child to get that shot, you better start booking now. Walgreens, Walmart and CVS started accepting appointments for children Tuesday night. We're told public pharmacies across the state started giving the shots on Friday. Pediatricians, primary care doctors, children's hospitals and school clinics will also start giving out the shots. We did some asking around on social media to see whose children have already gotten their dose. One person on Instagram says her 10 year old got her first shot Saturday morning and is doing great. I got an email from a viewer who says he and his children have all had COVID-19, but he does not plan on getting them vaccinated. In one Facebook group, a woman says her daughter got the shot this morning and another few people said their little ones are scheduled for appointments later this week. Now I spoke with one woman over the phone within the hour who says her nine year old son was able to get his first dose this morning. She says he spent the day outside playing, hasn't had any side effects just yet. Uh, when I asked her if she had any reservations, this is her response. Take a listen. I have concerns, but my bigger concern is that he contracts COVID, he gets MISC, he dies. There's so many different things that can happen if he doesn't get the vaccine. We have plenty of other vaccines that, you know, he's mandated to get in order to be in public schools, even though, you know, this is still in e EUA status. He's, it's eventually going to get there. So I'd rather protect him now than something happen. And if you're looking for more information on where you can get the COVID-19 vaccine for your child, head over to newsforjax.com. Reporting live tonight, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.